ask you a question. What the fuck's wrong with bread? What the fuck's wrong with potatoes or rice? And what makes cereals or sugary cereals so bad? The world, media, etc. has told us that carbs are bad. That keto, 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 keto is the way forwards. Well, it's fucking bollocks, guys. Let me give you some facts. The only way that you reduce your body fat is to place yourself in a deficient caloric state. In other words, don't give your body as many calories as it burns and therefore you lose weight. That has fuck all to do with carbs, fuck all to do with fats, okay? It pretty much also has fuck all to do with protein, but that one will come to later. So to turn around and say to you guys that the only way that you can lose weight is to get rid of carbs is pretty much exactly the same principle of saying the only way that you can lose weight is to chop off a fucking leg. Yeah, both of them are gonna help you lose weight, but is it an optimal route? No, except for a fucking pirate. Folks, it's 2018, there's nothing wrong with carbs. There's nothing magical in carbs that make you fat. Carbs are not evil, fat is not evil, okay? It's down to calories, and if you're consuming too many calories, you need to look at why. You need to look at your habits, your routines, your general behaviors surrounding foods, or maybe certain foods, okay? But at the end of the day, removing an entire fucking macronutrient food group from your diet is only going to lead to one thing, a binge. At some point, you are not going to spend the rest of your life never having rice, potatoes, bread, etc. again. Stop demonizing foods. It's a bit like saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go dry January, I'm gonna get rid of alcohol. What's the point in getting rid of it for one fucking month when for the rest of the 11 months of the year you're gonna have alcohol in your diet and then one particular month you're gonna kick the ass out of the alcohol. That's like me saying to you folks, okay, I want you to get rid of social media, turn this video off, delete your Facebook, jobs are good and you're not gonna fucking do it, are you? You might steer clear of social media for a couple of days because it's starting to depress you or whatever, but you're gonna be right back again, aren't you? Fat loss, weight loss, sustainable fat loss is all about balance. And I don't mean this fucking balance, I mean having all foods in your diet. And I'm also talking about the pizzas, the McDonald's, the fast foods, the sugary foods, the processed foods, the alcohols. They all need to be in your diet. Because if you demonize one of them, yes, you're gonna get some short-term results. Good for you, but I promise you, in the space of a few weeks, a few months, hell, if you're really, really, really consistent, maybe even a few years, at some point, the carbohydrate is gonna come rack around to bite you in the ass because you shouldn't have got rid of him in the first place. It's not about restriction. It's not about cutting out foods. It's about finding a better relationship with those foods. It's about finding balance in your diet. Don't be a fucking moron and go, bye carbs, you're what's making me fat, so I'm not gonna have you in my life anymore.